The Indonesian economy has enjoyed nine consecutive quarters of GDP growth in excess of 6%. Will this continue or is it enjoying too much of a good thing? With us now at the Asian Investment Conference is Mohamed Chattab Basri, Chairman of the Investment Coordinating Board, Republic of Indonesia. Mr Chattab Basri, a McKinsey report forecasts that by 2030 Indonesia will represent the world's seventh largest economy. Do you share that view? Certainly, because I think one of the main strengths for Indonesia is the demographic bonus. Uh, in addition to that, we also abandon with uh, food and energy. And Indonesia has also this relatively stable the, the political system and good macroeconomic stability because our debt to GDP is less than 24 percent so a lot of room if the government want to uh, expand the economy so I won't be surprised if you know by 2030 Indonesia has become the seventh largest economy in the world. Are there certain challenges that could arise between now and then that could hinder that? Certainly um, the most binding constraint for us is infrastructure yeah and I do believe that by the new land bill this issue of infrastructure could be resolved after 2015 uh, the second issue is related to the uh, human resources so we try to improve by doing the training vocational school you know and also improve the quality of education and also the other issue is about bureaucracy so that is why we launched several reforms um, the idea is how to simplify the procedures of doing business in Indonesia. But you know, by solving all these problems, I do believe that a lot of room for Indonesia to become you know, one of the largest e economy in the world. Does the recent deterioration in the country's current account position indicate that Indonesia is enjoying too much of a good thing? Well, I would say this is the temporary problem because one of the reasons why we had this current account deficit is because the import on oil. So once the government uh, do something on energy policy, then I do believe that the issue could be resolved. But you know, the, the, the other thing about this current account is imported capital goods, but I'm not too worried so much because uh, high imported capital goods means production and also investment. So in Indonesia's continual rise, where do you see investment opportunities in the future? Well, last year we had a 24.5 billion US dollar was a record high, jump about 27% compared to a year ago and already have this 86 billion on the pipeline. So I can see that a lot of opportunities that uh, doing investment in Indonesia, especially with this, the young population, the demographic bonus and also this natural resources. Will the government's recent policy directives discourage inward foreign direct investment? Well, of course, I do understand there are some concerns especially related to the mining issues about the, some restriction of export, but we have to be very realistic as well. This country cannot only rely on natural resources or the cheap labor. In the future, if we don't want to be trapped in the middle income trap, then we should improve the quality of human resources as well, moving into the value chain. Thank you very much, Mr. Chajit Basri. For more insights from thought leaders, check out the Asian Investment Conference website.